What up, FM fam? It's your boy. You already know we're trying to finish this freaking engine, but it's just it's starting to be thing after thing. All right, look. So this is our reservoir pressure cap, whatever you want to call it. It's a twist on type, right? Okay. So I put an adapter on these to be able to vacuum down the system. Now, normally it's this type, right? A, a radiator cap type, but it's screw on. That don't fit that one don't fit either so that means I got to make a trip so you know what it is we had this Harbor Freight tools hard to be in the tech guys whenever stop buying tools and here it is guys need this to uh, be able to stick down into that coolant reservoir and seal it so I can vacuum the system down like I said hard to be in the tech we always need tools and uh, this is one of the essentials that I been needing I always forget so this will hold me off until I got that set right there. Until I can get the actual adapter. All right guys, so this is the set that we bought from Harbor Free. The adapter, screws on that, put it in there. Adjust it to where you can get a seal. Back and down the system. Hold there. Pull it all right here. Get rid of the air pocket that's in the line. Crack it real quick. And there we go. So now, close off the air. Let it sit for a minute. Make sure it's holding vacuum. Disconnect that. Now we open this. Now we open this valve and let the vacuum take over. Uh, I like to keep the jug up with this. Because if not, then gravity takes over and it won't fully uh, fill the system. Now this little set cost me $60 at the Harbor Freight. Not money I wanted to spend, but it is what it is. Zero, close it off. And put your tool away. And of course, that's how you properly fill a pulling system. We got a little something, something right there. We got a little something, something right there. What'd I say last time? Transmission King, boy. Watch as we take it out. <laughs> Let's drop it, boy. Now, I must say, Real wheel drives are much easier than 
front wheel drives, but I hardly work on rear wheel drive vehicles. This was the first time I did it in four or five years. So I used to only work on trucks. Then they moved me to a main shop and I only work on front wheel drive vehicles. This is my second time dropping this transmission on this certain vehicle because the first one completely took a dump, wouldn't shift. This one wasn't machine correct. So you see on this new transmission, the crank sensor fits right there and it's machined. On the first transmission I put in, it's not machined. So because of crank sensor code, I had to replace it again. Ready. Thank you. Are y'all ready? Let's put this transmission in. Unbolting it, bolting it in. That's the main part. Plus, I don't have a lot of room in my freaking phone left. I'm gonna have to go through, edit all the videos for y'all, and catch y'all with some perfect. That Dude, sunset, man. boy. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Fluffy Makes Kenny. Got that brand new motor right there. Uh, we're supposed to move, remove this transmission, but I'm not trying to do that because this transmission is a pain in the butt. Got that manifold removed right there, or the cat assembly. The other side. Radiator fan assembly, got everything disconnected, hoses. And then let's go up top. So now we got everything up top, disconnected. I got some brackets on there, another lift point right there. Took quite a bit to get to this part because I was getting frustrated, boy. See that bracket over there? I fucking threw it. That one ain't gonna fucking work on this car. They said to use the brackets that come with it. I tried it, I was hitting firewall, whatever. But anyways, to all the new subscribers, Thank y'all, we hit 7K. We're pushing eight tonight, so maybe I may wake up to 8,000 subscribers. Just a few days ago, I was at 4K. I thank y'all, appreciate it. Hey, check it out. Uh, so, uh, y'all don't got me on snap. But, I got my car towed here. The Cobalt, y'all remember that? I made a couple of shorts about it. There it is, right here. Right there, right in the mix, right in the mix. South Bend. Clutch. South Bend Stage 3 Clutch. Yes, it did get a little hot, but look at how small this metal is. Look at, look at the thin. Look at how thin that is. Bro, the rivets are what gave. Look at that. Bro, come on. You're saying your clutch could handle 300 or 400 horsepower. Why is it not working on a about 250, 260 horsepower car. 10,000 miles? Come on now. Anyways, yeah, the clutch is already in. I'm about to put the subframe up. So, this is where we're at. Don't mind this. That's like JB Well, because I ran over a double cardigan joint from a semi truck and just did some numbers. See that? So, subscribe, like, comment, and there's a whole video coming out on this. This is.